एवरी वन ऑफ अस इज फेमिलियर विद द टेबलेट ग्रेनुलेशन प्रोसेस मीन वेर वी कन्वर्ट फाइन पाउडर इन टू ग्रेन्यूज बट वेन इट इज आस्ट एड वाई वी कन्वर्ट ग्रेन्यूज इन टू पाउडर मोस्ट ऑफ अस आर नोट फेमिलियर विद द टेक्निकल रीजनिंग मेनी ऑफ अस नो ओनली वन और टू रीजन बट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट रीजन फॉर विच वी कन्वर्ट आवर फाइन पाउडर इन टू ग्रेन्यूल मीन वी हैव टू मेथड ऑफ ग्रेनुलेशन वेट ग्रेनुलेशन एंड ड्राई ग्रेनुलेशन एंड वी नो डेट द कॉस्ट ऑफ ग्रेनुलेशन इज हायर एज कम्पेयर टू द सिंपल मिक्सिंग प्रोसेस और सिंपल ड्रग कंप्रेशन प्रोसेस वेर वी कैन इजीली मिक्स आवर पाउडर टू कंप्रेस द टैबलेट्स बट इंस्टेड ऑफ यूजिंग सिंपल मिक्सिंग प्रोसेस वी वी कॉमनली यूज वेट ग्रेनुलेशन और ड्राई ग्रेनुलेशन मैथड विच आर कॉस्टली एंड आल्सो इंक्रीज द प्रोसेसिंग टाइम ऑफ आवर मैनुफैक्चरिंग सो वट आर द रीजन we convert our fine powders into granules the number one reason is to enhance the flow everyone is familiar that the flow of powder is not as good as granules mean the flow of granules is good as compared to powders so we convert fine powders into granules to enhance our flow rate which will be very helpful during the tablet compression process to overcome many defects the next one is the to prevent weight variation this point is related to the first point as we discussed by increasing the flow rate we can overcome many defects during the tablet coating sorry tablet compression process so this one is the main defect if our flow is very poor weight variation is observed so by converting fine powders into granules the flow is increased and by enhancing the flow our weight variation defect is prevented the next one is to enhance compaction the compressibility of powders is lower as compared to the granules so we convert fine powders into granules to increase their compressibility next one is to prevent capping and lamination problem mean we know that the powders are elastic in nature and granules are plastic in nature so when we apply a pressure over powders they regain their original shape and try to regain their original shape and tend to cap or laminate but as we know that the granules are plastic in nature so when pressure is applied they are deformed and not able to regain their original shape so the problem of capping and lamination is overcome by converting powders into granules next one is to prevent segregation the tendency of segregation in fine powders is higher as compared to granules so by converting fine powders into granules we can prevent the segregation effect to improve the content uniformity if segregation is high content uniformity is affected so by converting fine powders into granules we overcome segregation and indirectly we are overcoming or improving our assay and content uniformity the next one is to prevent dusty environment as we know that the bulk density of powders is very low and they tend to blow in the air so generate a dusty environment by converting fine powders into granules this dusty environment is prevented next one is to reduce the line loss if more dust is generated more line loss is observed so by overcoming the dusty environment by converting fine powders into granules we are also trying to reduce the line loss so all these points are the main reasons for which we convert our fine powders 
into gain use this question is commonly asked during the internship programs during different vivas or may also be asked during the exam so i tried my best to explain why we convert fine powders into granules if you want to read the article on this topic the link of article is given in description you can read the article you can also visit my website pharmainform.com where you can read many informative and interesting articles if you like the video share it to others and do subscribe my channel till the next video allah hafiz